Vanilla Minecraft is extremely laggy at 2 b 2 t spawn, even with a high-end computer. I get around 150 to 300 FPS, depending where I'm flying around. Most people don't have this luxury and will get even less performance. But with the mods I've found and used for a couple of months, we can see the major improvements. With these improvements, we can add useful mods to make exploring 2B2T more amazing. We'll also discuss the best clients, so without further ado, let's begin. First, you'll need to get Fabric for 1.20.1. .1. On your browser, go to fabricmc.net or click the link in the description. Click on download, download the version that works for your computer, so I'll pick download for Windows. Run the Fabric installer, change the Minecraft version to 1.20.1, .1, and make sure the loader version is 0.15.3 or later. After that, click install. It says we need to download Fabric API and drag it into our mod folder. So click on it to get to the website, or you can also find it in the description. It brings us to a Curse Forge site, so find the Files section and filter by 1.20.1. Download the latest version, and then drag it into your mods folder. If you just want the mods in this video without knowing the full details, you can download them on my Discord server, which is in the description, as that's where I'll keep updating them, answer questions, and work on the Forge version. Now that you have Fabric, we'll add the performance mods. There is a lot, so I'll go down the list. Firstly, Sodium improves rendering performance and can improve frame rates for a wide range of computers, with many players reporting a 250 to 500% increase in average frame rates. Indium is an add on for Sodium that supports rendering API, Lithium for general optimization, Krypton for improving networking lag, better FPS render distance, changes the default Minecraft rendering, which is a square radius. With this mod, this is changed to a 3D circular radius thus giving a neat FPS boost. Starlight rewrites the light engine to fix lighting performance and errors. Memory Leak Fix fixes multiple memory leaks in Minecraft, both on the server and client side. Ferrite Core reduces Minecraft's memory usage in a few ways, reducing the RAM usage. Entity Culling only shows entities that are on your screen. Dynamic FPS automatically reduces the speed at which Minecraft renders when it's not focused or hidden. It also fixes a bug in Minecraft that makes it take much more performance in the background than it should. More minor performance mods like Better Beds, Coal Leafs, and Cloth Config add more performance. It's also worth noting that some of these mods require other mods as support. I know that was a lot, but look at how much FPS we gained. With all this extra FPS, we can use it for our render distance. Since 2B2T was updated to 1.19, players can see further, but when flying around spawn, it's still difficult to predict where to go next, which is why these two useful mods can make us see even further without affecting too much performance. Bobby is a Minecraft mod that allows us to bypass the server's render distance cap. 2B2T has a render distance cap of around 12, but this mod remembers chunks you've visited before and allows you to render way beyond the server's limits. This is flying at a render distance of 12, but when we increase it with Bobby, look at how much more we can see. However, with another mod, we can see further. Distant Horizons, a level of detail mod, adds simplified terrain past Minecraft's default view distance to improve performance and allow for longer draw distance. It's pretty much similar to Bobby, but it will make the structures in the distance less detailed, which is often used in other games. This means you can set your render distance at 2 and still see a lot without that much game performance. Just look at how insane 2B2T spawn is now. We can practically see everything. But even with a high-end computer, Distant Horizons is a little glitchy and I'm getting a lot of lag, so you must figure out which mod fits your computer or laptop best. Here are some useful mods I use to help with the quality of life on 2B2T. Baritone will allow you to navigate and escape spawn through pathfinding, build structures, gather resources, etc. Logical Zoom enables you to zoom in a way similar to Optifine. Shulkerbox Tooltip 
will let you see what's inside a shulker box in your inventory. Apple Skin adds visualization of saturation and exhaustion to the HUD. To access all of these mods showcased in the video, Mod Menu will show all of them listed in one location. Lastly, I found some fun mods that are cool for exploring spawn and adding to the immersion without affecting game performance too much. 3D Skin Layers will add layers to everyone's skin. Do a Barrel Roll redesigns Elytra movements with a completely unlocked camera orientation, allowing full flight pitch, yaw, and roll control. I find this the most fun thing to do at spawn, and it makes you feel like Spider-Man or flying an FPV drone. And lastly, not enough animations brings many missing third-person animations from the first person. This includes eating or drinking, maps, shield placements, boats rowing, and more. Now that we have decent FPS and other add-ons, we're missing something drastic for 2B2T, hacked clients. It's worth noting that I don't condone using clients on servers outside of Anarchy, and if you do, you have a skill issue. Most people outside of 2B2T or Anarchy related servers think that hacked clients are hacking into the mainframe type of thing, but it's more just useful tools and modules to get around the server, similar to using modded clients for PvP servers like WavyMod or Bad Lion. These clients allow players to PvP, travel distances quickly, and other utility modules that give an advantage to someone who doesn't have it. However, with the update to 1.19, not many have been optimized for 2B2T, so I'll discuss which clients are the most popular and trustworthy currently. The best free client right now would be Meteor Client. This open sourced client is popular and has active developers and community. It's been downloaded over 4 million times and only runs on Fabric. With it being free, it won't include the best travel exploits or PvP modules, but it will contain everything you need to get around the server. The best paid clients are Future and Rusher Hack. What differentiates these clients from the free clients is that they have the most modules that work on Anarchy servers. They have working travel exploits and top tier PvP modules that will give you an advantage over other clients. Right now, both of these clients are $20, which ultimately comes down to personal preference for which is the best. For more details about these clients, a YouTuber named Keylab Gaming has in-depth videos for each of these clients, and I'll leave them in the description. Now equipped with these mods and clients, you can hopefully experience any Anarchy server better. Again, you can download them from my Discord server in the description, and in the folder, they'll be categorized, so you can pick what to use. 